Hello and welcome to Driving with Todd. And I'm Todd. We're going to stick with the theme, the monkeys. And we're going to talk a little bit about Michael Nesmith. Michael, Michael Nesmith was doing music prior to joining the monkeys. He was more into folk and country music and released a good number of singles under the name Michael Nesmith and under Michael Blessing. Well, under the name Michael Blessing, he put out a single in 1965 called Until It's Time For You To Go. Now, that song was written by Buffy St. Marie, who was also a folk singer and put out oodles of albums and a lot of great songs. Well, Michael Blessing, that particular single, was on the Colpix label. Well, there was another monkey that released records on the Colpix label in 1965, and that was Davy Jones. Davy Jones released an album and several singles on that label. The two claim they never met prior to joining the monkeys, even though they were on the same label. So this song is is a is a great folk song, um, and and it's it, it's a really wonderful song. The the arrangement on this song is, is really great. But what I want to play is a video of Michael Nesmith singing it on the Lloyd Thaxton show. Now, the Lloyd Thaxton show was sort of like a, an American bandstand, but it was local to Los Angeles. It was on the KCOP TV station, which was a local station. And he had an hour-long show that he wrote and produced and brought young artists on to to uh, premiere some of their singles. And that's what he's doing here. He's bringing Michael Nesmith on to premiere his single until it's time for you to go. So I thought it'd be fun to watch this. Now, the thing I want to say is it's really lo-fi. I didn't watch the whole video. I just watched pieces of it, but it's really lo-fi. So don't, don't think you're going to hear this, this fantastic arrangement that's in this song, just blasting out of the speakers because it's really condensed. It's really condensed, but it's worth the watch just to see Michael Nesmith sing this song. So here we go with Michael Nesmith or Michael Blessing. It was Michael Blessing doing Until It's Time for you to go on the Lloyd Thaxton show. One guest on the show today, uh, this marks kind of like a debut. It's a uh, record is just out, and uh, this is like a first time on TV, and we're very proud to do this because a very talented person and a very good record. Let's have a nice hand for a name you'll be hearing, Mr. Michael Blessing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it is guest time once again on our show. And it's a pleasure to present this gentleman because this is a brand new artist, you might say, with a brand new song. Artist is good and song is good, and uh, here he is. Michael Blessing. Let's hear it from Michael Blessing. <laughs>
just stop it right here and uh, talk a little bit about it. Okay, Michael Nesmith is singing. I mean, he's actually singing, and, and he's got a little bit of a range to his voice. Um, and and it's, 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 it's a nice sounding voice. So when he was with the Monkees, he wrote a lot of songs. He produced most of the songs he wrote. Um, and then he also um, uh, sang most of the songs he wrote, right? So, but he sang kind of with a country twang in his voice on, on most of the songs, and, and, it, and he didn't really use the range on his voice. Um, it was more of a, a, a kind of a, almost a monotone type singing. When he, he left the Monkees and got with the First National Band, then he started singing a little bit like this. I mean, there's a song, Joanne, where he really uses his range on his voice on that song. Uh, but then later on again, he, he was getting more into his, his country-style vocals. But this is unique, uh, kind of a, I mean, it's a really pretty song. Now, he's not the only one that's ever done this song. This has been uh, covered by a lot of different artists. But I really like this rendition. Now, it starts out with an acoustic guitar, and then the bass comes in. And then there's this orchestration. It's going to start, it, it just kind of started when I sort of paused it here. And this orchestration just floats over the top of the song. And it's a really a beautiful arrangement. Like I said, unfortunately, you don't hear it as well in this uh, TV rendition. You know, a lot of it's compressed down. And I think it's just how audio is recorded onto uh, if this was videotape or, or um, I don't know, 60 millimeter or something. So let's finish this up. This is... <laughs> really cool song and i like him just sitting there singing it you know when i first thought i was going to see use this video i thought maybe he's standing there with acoustic guitar and playing acoustic guitar but he's just sitting in the chair and he's just singing it to the audience which is kind of cool as well so let's take this back a little bit and see where this goes I love me. There's some more on this video, so we're going to finish up the video, but I just want to stop it here. Like I said, he, he's really using his voice really well on this song. I mean, I really, really like how how he's singing. Um, and that orchestration, I like the instrumental break, and they really brought in the orchestration. That That's really hot. I mean, I really like the arrangement on this song. Uh, the arranger was really good and, uh, that, that, that put this together. And unfortunately, you, you, it's, it's, it's tough to hear it here. You almost have to um, listen to, like, there's two YouTube videos out here of somebody who ripped a single. And you want to listen to those to actually hear the dynamics of this song. Um, the other thing I didn't like about this video, though, is they got that timing block in, in the middle. And I, that just takes away from, from Michael because it's covering his face a lot of the times. And that, that kind of drives me nuts. But, you know, again... This this is this is this is a time capsule right here. This is seeing something you know from 1965. I mean, how cool is that? It's like hopping in your DeLorean and going back in time and turning on the TV and seeing this. So this is a great time capsule. So I I just thought this was the video to show. So let's finish this up and um, talk a little bit more. Okay, sit down, Michael. Go down there. You know, we uh, like on our show to present uh, brand new talent. We have presented a lot of brand new people on our show. People like Sonny and Cher and the Righteous Brothers were brand new when they came on our show, and they've done very well. That's a very good uh, record, Michael. What's the name of it? Uh, Until It's Time to Go. And that was arranged by Shorty Rogers, a fantastic arranger. It's on the Cole Picks label, right? Right. Is this uh, 
the first time that you've really had a chance to really get out and expose this, because I guess the record just came out, right? So this uh, is the it first. It came out. It was released Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's the first time. I I really believe in the song. Yeah. I, I do really too. dig it. It's a beautiful song, and it's by Michael Blessing, and it's on Cold Picks, and it's for sale. Let's have a nice hand for Michael Blessing. Good luck, Michael. Always going to be a big hit for you. We'll be right back after this message. Don't go away. Don't go away, please. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like the little interview. That was kind of cool. I mean, he, he didn't know that, but like, like he said, he, Sonny and Cher were on here, and the Righteous Brothers, when they were first taken off, and, you know, they exploded. <laughs> I mean, they, both those two groups exploded. And I love the way uh, Michael Nesmith is dressed in here. He's got his blue jeans on. He's got his, his denim jacket on. He's got his white collar shirt on. Uh, he's missing his green knit hat, though. He should have had his green knit hat on. That would have been kind of cool. Um but yeah, I mean, he looked the part. He was just great. His vocals were, were awesome. And like I said, this was like a timepiece right here. Um, this was taking a slice out of history and, and presenting it uh, to the world. Just really, really cool. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you enjoyed Michael Nesmith or Michael Blessing on the Lloyd Faxon Show doing Until It's Time for You to Go, which was a Buffy St. Marie song and then covered by many, many, many artists. So if you did like it, hit that like button. That'd be really cool. If you have any comments about Michael Nesmith or Michael Blessing, or the Lloyd Faxton Show, or the song Until It's Time for You to Go, put in the comments below. That'd be really cool. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. That'd be so cool. And then go over here and ring the bell for updates to my latest videos. So I'm hoping your day is going super. I hope this video put a big smile on your face. I know this was cool. I really loved it. It put a big smile on my face. And peace out, baby.